everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So we are building a tiny house today and this is the one that I mentioned in, uh, I might have like hinted at it in the last build that I did because yes, someone actually guessed it, but I don't know. I can't remember if you were the person who suggested the style. I, or if you just, maybe you're just like super smart and you just picked up on it like put two and two together that might be it i don't know but you i'm keeping my eyes on you okay um but anyway we're doing a house that's si 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 cider uh, tongue tied anyway <laughs> that is sort of inspired by like japan style so it is a fusion of japan or japanese style interior mixed with scandinavian which you know i love and it's definitely a style that I would say has, it's not like, there's not like a certain perfect proper way to do this style because you could turn up the Scandinavian a little bit, you could turn up the Japanese a little bit. This definitely, I would say in the living room situation, it's, um, I say situation because it's a tiny house, so like, is there really a living room is the question. Um, but it's definitely more Scandinavian in there, whereas in the bedroom, it looks a little bit more Japanese. So we're just having a little bit of fun with it. It's um, not like a, this is how it is done kind of style. And we're just, you know, having a little bit of fun with it. It's definitely a style that I would like to explore a little bit. I find it very fascinating how these two like seemingly completely different kind of interior styles just mesh well like mesh together so well um so i have done i think at least one build before which i think was a loft now that i think about it it was like a town a townhouse or something like that turned into sort of a loft situation i can't remember because it's been a while <laughs> um as with most of my builds they're super old okay i can't keep track of them anymore but it's been a while and so i really wanted to kind of like re-explore the style a little bit and um, especially after someone mentioned it because I forgot that the style existed and I was like, wait a minute, that is perfect. I'm, I'm gonna do it and so I did. I hope you guys like it. I wanna give you guys a little bit of a warning. I don't know if you'll notice even, but I notice. <laughs> so um, I've had to reset my computer and my editing presets are different. Although I think I've actually somehow managed to keep most of them. My thumbnail presets and also my screenshot presets are gone, completely gone. So I've had to redo them and it'll take a little bit. I had to redo reshade as well. So like the game looks a little bit different. Um, you'll definitely see it in the next video because the first half of the build was recorded before I had to reset my computer and then the second half of the build was recorded after so there's a change in the in the reshade for example um, the pictures look a little bit different like editing wise but it's because my presets are gone it is uh we're having some different some difficult difficult I can't speak today oh my gosh technical difficulties um on on this end these days and i'm just kind of like trying to drag it out because i don't have time to send my computer to repair until may because i have several things coming up this month including a trip to italy but also some other stuff happening uh right now and so don't worry that sounded very dramatic it's like super, super chill stuff, <laughs> but it does mean I just don't have time to set my computer to repair right now. And so we're making do, uh, working is just a little bit like building houses. It's just a little bit slower than I want to say usual, but actually, <laughs> um, what is my standard by now? I don't know. <laughs> we're just taking it slow over here on the channel as it is. Uh, but yeah, just kind of gonna try to get those presets back to how they looked and customize my reshade as well so it looks the way that I like it. The base one I believe is still linked in the description of the video by the way now that I've mentioned the reshade. I do get questions about it quite often but I tend to not really talk about the preset in the videos because I would have to sit here and mention them every time but they're always linked in the description of the video so if you like it you can go download it i always modified it a little bit just because i you know it's just for my own liking 
Um, but the one that's linked in the description is the one that you can download. I think it's made by Dove. I'm actually gonna check. Can I check right now? Can I check right now while I'm doing the voiceover is the question. I have never been good. No, I can't. Um, cause I forgot where <laughs> I saved them, which I should probably get. Oh, right here they are. Right. It's Kindle Spice Dove 2.0. So it's done by Kindle Spice and it's called Dove 2.0. Um, so yeah, that's the one I use. I think it's the one the majority of reshade, reshade users actually use. Because it's very soft, it has like a slight pink tint to it, and it does have this like shade. Uh, the shades are... I don't know how to... like edges? The shades on the edges? I don't actually know how to explain it, but I'm sure you can tell what I mean. <laughs> um, but they're also turned up a little bit with this reshade, or by more than a little bit. And I really like that effect, so that's the reshade that I've been using for the longest time, just slightly modified. Um, but I'm not going to link my modification because that would be rude to the original creator of the reshade. I just modify it a little bit. I've also forgotten to turn on the background blur, but um, that's because I forgot that it was a thing for a second. So we got that sorted now though. Yeah, it's probably one of those things you don't really notice until you look at screenshots to be honest anyway. Uh, but it just looks nice when everything is um, blurred in the background. I actually used to do that in Photoshop. Sit there and it was just a lot of work. It, may, it might not sound like it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of work. Things are just really not going well today. It is, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up if things look a little bit different in, in the videos these days. I am, it's been a whole thing. It's fine. I'm in contact with someone um, from the place that I purchase the computer from and we're like trying to work through it because he knows I've told him that I'm very busy this month. I hope I'm not like one of those super annoying people who's like well I know that it needs to go to repair but like I don't have the time. <laughs> um, so I'm just like I've said that I can't really if there's anything I can do right now. Are those wallpapers right there? on the wall and then the half wall, are they not matching? I will need to go and rectify that before uploading this to the gallery. It looks like they're not, but it also kind of looks like they do match. I'm confused. Anyway, um, but I've just told him that if there's anything I can do before the month, like to get through this month, um, then I can send it to repair in May, but I just wanted to get in contact with them because I have no idea what to do other than resetting the computer, which I did. And I got three blue screens today, so we're still in trouble. <laughs> I actually can't really tell. Do they match or don't they? That is... It looks like they don't, but like, what? I can't tell. What What wallpapers am I using? Because I'm pretty sure that I'm using the same one. I'm so confused. Maybe it's just like a lighting issues... I issue? Singular, not multiple. <laughs> just one issue, lighting issue. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I love this like... um. I would hate to have this sort of corner in my own house, to be honest. I don't live in a house, but if I had a house, um, I would hate to have this sort of corner, this little window box in my house, because first of all, if I'm living in the forest, my windows will be covered up at all times, especially at night, because I'm paranoid like that. That's just, it's a thing. We're gonna live with it, it's fine. Um, but also, this would, it also has glass roofing, might I just add, so it would be incredibly hot during summer, or at least like sunny days. It's like a greenhouse. But doesn't it look cozy though? Doesn't it look cozy? Like, can you not imagine yourself lying on that couch, just lying there with a book, enjoying the sunlight, probably getting a little bit blinded while you're looking at the book with white pages and like your eyes are probably not too happy about it, but cozy vibes, right? Cozy vibes. So um, that's kind of what I was going for. I don't really know why they have a stove in there because honestly, I don't think they're going to need it because <laughs> it's so, it's, it looks so warm in there, but maybe for the winter months. It is built in Windenburg, which I forgot to say, so it does get cold and snowy and super cute. I love the, I love the snow in Windenburg. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, actually, oh, now that I think about it, I remember during winter being like, oh, I'm so excited to build wintry houses and then I just never got to it. Is it too late to build a snowy house now? <laughs> are we, are we like past that phase? I don't, it starts snowing any day. It's like four, it's eight degrees outside. It feels like four though, okay? Which is almost 
almost snowy weather temperatures uh, Celsius for those of you who are not aware of Celsius uh, but yeah anyway this up here is literally just for show it's just you can take it out put down any kind of seating arrangement up here instead it is just because I wanted this like cozy little mattress looking area kind of like a lounge area and with some pillows there's a couple of books next to the mattress as well so I put together some ottomans and sunk them into the platform below so it looks like it's just a mattress and combined a couple of other items to make it work but it's not functional in any way um it just it's just for show it's just for decor you, you, you don't need to keep it like this I just really loved how it looked and I like the idea of having this area on the uh, on the terrace that has a roof over it so like you can either sit on a couch and enjoy the sun but also if you need a break from the sun you can lie on the on the mattress up there I kind of see a theme with this house it's like how many areas can I put down or like how many lounge areas can I put in one tiny house build that'll allow my sims to just lounge and read um <laughs> or if, if, it was, if it was an actual real life house, how many could I place down where I could lie and read? Uh, because obviously the mattress up there is not actually functional, but I think that might be the theme of this house. How many, how many lounge areas? Tiny house. That doesn't sound good though. We're sticking with Japan D, but like the thought, you know? You know what I mean? Okay. Um, no, this bathroom does not have a sink. And yes, I will say that because sometimes I get comments about it when I do these small bathrooms. It's either I do something weird, which I don't want to do, <laughs> or I size down the sink and then use a very small toilet, which I didn't want to do either. So I know it's not hygienic in real life, but it's the Sims, we're fine, it's all good. But yes, it is right next to the bat or next to the kitchen. So the Sims will just go to the kitchen and use the sink there. It is completely fine for gameplay. I know it's not super nice in um, like if you want to look at it like realistically. Although I will say having watched some videos from people that live in vans, like these kind of luxurious minivans, they don't have two sinks either. I just want to say. <laughs> and I think tiny house... It's not a van, but it's still, we're talking like same kind of size proportions, if you know what I mean. So it's not that far off reality. It's just not, for those of you who are used to living in houses, having multiple bathrooms, um, so on and so on, it might not be the most sanitary thing, but it's The Sims. It doesn't really matter, does it? I don't think it does. I will say my bathroom door is also right next to the kitchen and I'm pretty sure it used to be a rule at some point or a law or something like that I don't really know um, that you couldn't actually have the door to the bathroom in the kitchen technically but I don't think it's a law anymore it's one of the things that my mom comments on all the time when she looks at uh, floor plans like um, of newer apartments if you want apartments that you can share with a roommate obviously you can't have the bathroom door anywhere else but in the hallway or in the kitchen and so you know dot 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 but anyway yeah just wanted to touch on it i think i've seen a comment about it very recently not on one of my videos but somewhere else and on a floor plan picture or something like that and i just uh felt like talking about it i suppose super interesting very very good voiceover material but anyway <laughs> That was sarcastic, by the way. Anyway, we're done. Okay, we're done. If you guys like this house, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box down below, as well as in the pinned comment, where you can also find a link to my booktube channel. So if you like to read or watch videos where people talk about books, nerd out about books, definitely uh, consider taking a look, taking a peek, whatever you please. Um, but that is all I got for you guys today, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!
Grow and I bought new shoes. I'm pretty without you. 